from PsychHub and Columbia University Department of Psychiatry and presented by HCA Healthcare. You ask, we answer. What is borderline personality disorder? There's nine criteria, but you only need to have five out of the nine. So not everybody looks the same. Frantic efforts to avoid abandonment or extreme emotional reactions when somebody experiences abandonment in an interpersonal relationship, that's one. Two is that splitting the idealization devaluation that you tend to see people as either in all positive or negative light and it can switch back and forth. Three is behavioral impulsivity in at least two areas that are not related to self-harm behavior. It has to be exclusive outside of another diagnosis. So stealing, binge eating, binge spending, those are impulsive behaviors. And then the self-destructive behaviors, the non-suicidal self-harm, suicide attempts, uh, and verbalizations. I hate to call them threats, but you know, people talking a lot about feeling like they want to end their life and trying to maybe communicate ineffectively in that way. Intense anger, feeling either internally intense anger or actually having angry outbursts. Mood shifting very, uh, it's called mood liability. So your mood can shift many times during the day and be very reactive to things, very small things that happen during the day. There's the identity diffusion, that feeling that I don't know who I am or I don't have a cohesive sense of myself across situations and I feel different with one person and another person. A feeling of internal emptiness that's also exclusive of another disorder like depression. And then when you're under extreme stress, the tendency to feel paranoid and not trust people that you usually trust and or have kind of dissociative out of body kind of experiences. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or topics you'd like to see in future episodes, drop those in the comments below or head over to our community tab to join the discussion. You Ask We Answer is here to answer your questions around mental health. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You can also find an extended interview with this guest on the You Ask We Answer podcast, available now wherever you get your podcasts.